Welcome back to another video and today I'm talking about the Hydrogen BMX which some of you may have heard of, some of you may haven't, may haven't, some of you probably haven't, so uh, let's get into it. <laughs> when I'm feeling you If I put a picture of the frame on screen right now, the forks look exactly like the Yes Reach forks, and there's a clear reason for that. Um, it's basically all the people that made Yes, when Yes shut down, they've all now work at Hydrogen, weirdly. So that's why they look very similar, and you see the Hydrogen, we're going to point out some similarities now, because uh, it's very similar to the, the Yes frame that I've got, the Yes um, World Cup Elite frame, I can't remember what it's called. Um, but basically, you see the down tube, where the seat stay is, um, or whatever it's called, um, that's diagonal. And on the hydrogen, it's curved, but and it's also diagonal, which is basically what the S was. And then the only other difference up the top end is, if you see on the top tube, whereas the S goes straight, <coughs> like mine, um, the hydrogen actually comes up and then goes a little bend towards the head tube. That's the one. Um, it gets a little, a little bend towards the head tube, um, which... It looks, definitely looks worse than the Yes, but um, it's clearly the people that are making Yes and the people that design Yes because I've seen a lot of things that relate to that. Um, I was actually going to buy one um, before they had some sort of pre-sale pricing which is cheaper. Um, I was actually interested in buying one because it's three years old now. It's getting to the end of its life, my bike down here. Um, and yeah, I was just going to think about getting the hydrogen, but it then went up in price. So obviously because it's a brand new uh, company and brand new... Uh, brand that's basically more expensive the more it gets mass produced which I don't know if it will do because there's a limited number of frames and forks available for this sale anyway so I'm not sure if it'll actually get mass produced but if it does then it'll get slowly cheaper and cheaper and get more towards a normal price of a frame because at the moment if you look on this picture I put here um, it's currently $1150 so $1150 which roughly is about 900, 950 quid um, and then it's $150 postage which is ridiculous especially when it's not even carbon like I don't want a carbon frame but carbon frames are that price they're like 1500 1600 that's the price they're at but that's not even carbon that's just aluminium I didn't end up buying one um, because it went up in price um, but I am lo looking out for a new frame but uh, yeah the hydrogen it, it, it's, it's got a mixed opinion from what I've uh, gathered my research um, some people like it some people don't like it I don't mind it I definitely think it def doesn't look as bad I definitely think it looks worse than the normal Yes, but clearly that's owned by Yes, and then the people that work there or owned it now can't use that or something. Um, I think something weird's happening. That uh, Yes has shut down and now they've brought out a new frame when they could have just made another Yes and kept Yes open. Um, but basically, they obviously clearly couldn't use the Yes design. They could loosely use it because they're the ones that made it. So uh, yeah, I think it looks okay, but I don't know. I don't know. You, let me know in the comments what your opinion is, um, especially with the price. Like, the price is really what well, basically it stopped me buying one because there's no need for it to be that expensive. The only reason is because it's such a small company and there's only a few limited sales. That's why. So thanks for watching this video. You know, as you can see, I'm in the Christmas spirit. Uh, got got a Christmas hat. Don't know if you noticed. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, don't forget to leave in the comments what you think of the frame because. Um, I, as I said, I don't mind it. I haven't got one coming because uh, they're not, they're too expensive. And the fork literally looks like, hang on, I've got a spare one. I might have shown you before, I've actually got a spare Yes Reach fork here. It's like sparkly blue, which was never going to, well, it's going to be used for a, a, a spare bike because they're actually in really good condition. Um, they're probably, they're probably being used less than my bike. Um, but yeah, if you if I put hold these here, you can basically see the picture here. Um, the hydrogen literally looks the same. The only thing is, I think they've got 20 mil dropouts, and obviously then you got you need bolt through ones instead, which is hard. You know, it's longer to get the front wheel off, which I've never agreed with. I, the, what the, I've never had a fork fall off, a uh, wheel fall off. So why would why do you need to have the bolt through thing? Um, but maybe because it, if it's 20 mil, it can't hold it as much. But yeah, they look very similar to these, which they still look good, but they're 300 dollars. And these are these are ridiculous. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to comment down below what you think of the, the frame because, um, yeah, that'd be cool to see your opinion. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye. I could be your alpha, I could be your Romeo. Tell them boys back up, I ain't going nowhere. I'm gonna fight that back up, put it on your story so all your friends see it, everyone can see it. Yeah. And we're going and going and going, it's a good night. Yeah.
Baby, let it roll like the good time Smoking and pouring, I'm focused on it